Japan is a magical land, but if you visit, what's the status on weed? Hmm, stay tuned. For Marijuana Morning News, I'm Suzette James. Before 1948, cannabis was widely cultivated in Japan for ropes, textiles, medicine as a food source, and even for spiritual practices. Followers of the Shinto religion would leave cannabis as an offering to their gods and goddesses at shrines. But then, in 1948, the Cannabis Control Act was introduced in Japan when the U.S. occupied the country after World War II. And things haven't changed much since. Today, weed is not legal in Japan. Under Japan's Cannabis Control Act, possession of weed is punishable by up to five years in jail, plus up to $18,000 in fines. And growing, importing, or exporting could land you up to 10 years in jail, and guys, get this, $27,000 in fines. That's a lot of money, Suzette! Sadly, cannabis arrests have actually been on the rise in Japan. In 2017, there were about 3,000 weed-related arrests. In 2018, that number jumped to over 3,500. Japan is so strict on weed that when Canada went legal in 2018, the Japanese government warned its traveling citizens that if they partook in green festivities, they could face consequences upon their return home. While foreigners visiting Japan caught with cannabis may be deported or even banned from ever re-entering the country again. In fact, Paul McCartney was kicked out of Japan for 11 years after being caught with pot. Some good news, however, is that Japan legalized CBD in 2016 and the cultivation of hemp is permitted with an official license. One of the most commonly grown strains favored for its remarkably low THC levels is Tochi Jishiro. Have you been to Japan? Smoked weed in Japan? Do you live in Japan? What have your experiences been? I want to hear them in the comments. I'm Brooke Bergstuller. Thanks for watching Marijuana Morning News, y'all. I love you. Follow us at Big Mike and have a beautiful day.